Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for love, but it's for a very specific question. I'm going to allow you guys to sample my most requested love spread. This is what everyone seems to really want to know. So this is for those of you guys who are, are in a specific situation. If you're not in this specific situation, then this reading probably won't make sense to you. So if you have other questions about love, feel free to hit me up. I'm always available for personal readings. And you can also go to my pick a card reading folder and there's tons of readings in there about love. So if you don't know who your soulmate or your twin flame is, or you don't have a love interest, or you're in a different situation, then check out that folder or hit me up for a more personal reading. This is for those of you guys who are really into someone or have a crush or a soulmate or a twin flame who is in a relationship with another person. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do a checkup. We're gonna see what is going on between you guys. Um, we're gonna see what's going on between them and their, their partner, the person they're currently with. We're gonna see if there's like what their current feelings are for you, how you should go about attracting this person, anything you need to know, what's going on with this person. It's basically the whole shebang. So I was led to do this reading for you guys. I think a lot of people are in this situation right now. I've been getting more and more requests for this recently, especially. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it might not apply to all of you guys. If this reading ends up confusing you or it just doesn't make sense, then try picking another number. Try using a random number generator online if you need to. Um, another way is to just, to just pause the video and use your left hand and hover over, I'm gonna allow you guys to choose from these trinket, trinkets to get your um, spread. Hover your hand over each trinket and see like which one makes your fingers tingle. Pray or meditate on which number to choose. Um, and if, if for some reason it doesn't resonate, then just hit me up and we can do a more personal reading for you for this. Once again, you can purchase a reading at promiseharmony.com services. But all of the readings you guys are purchasing from me are allowing me to spend time to do spreads like this for free for everyone. So this is exciting. I don't think I've ever done this spread for you guys before. So this is something completely new. I'm really interested on your feedback to see if this resonates. And I've just prayed that this will help you for the highest good of you and this person. And remember, you know, to send prayers out for your the person that you're interested in, your love interest. And towards them and their relationship. You know, if they're meant to stay in this relationship, there's nothing you can do about it. And if you truly love someone, you want them to be happy, even if it's not with you. So we're gonna do this reading in a very loving way, but we are gonna reveal the truth here. So go ahead and choose a trinket, the abalone earring, number one. Number two, the pearl necklace. Or number three, the obsidian earring. So one, two, or three. And you guys see all these cards? This is going to be a long one. We're going to get into it. All right, you guys ready? Number one, we're going to get started. I'm going to have to do a lot of reaching. <laughs> So this is the current energy between you and your love interest. You and this person you are into, you have a crush on, your, your soulmate or your twin flame. This is the current energy between you guys, both of you, like what energy you guys are sharing right now. So definitely right now you guys are both on a journey. We all are, we're all on this journey of life. And the journey card is talking about big change and big transitions, being really focused, on the future, trying to create change in your life. So it seems like this is something you guys both have in common right now is this beautiful journey. Perhaps it's a journey for you guys to meet and for you guys to come together in union. There's this message for both of you guys to allow your friends to help you. Ask for and accept for support from others. And what I'm seeing is that this is a really good time for you to hit your friends up. I think your love interest is, has been spending a lot of time with their friends as well as they're facing all of this shift energy that of course we're all going through. 
And then responsibility. It seems like both you and your love interest are really focused on your responsibilities right now. This represents like a burden. So maybe the responsibilities have become more of a burden. Um, working really hard. I feel like you guys are both working um, a very demanding job right now. And um, you guys are very close to your destination. New ideas are coming in. Um, there's a lot of support coming out for you guys. Um, and so right now, it seems like the energy is just very focused on friendships, very focused on um, taking this journey, um, maybe even plans to travel. And so that's what you guys share in common right now. Very interesting. Now we're going to see what energy is leaving the dynamic. So what energy is leaving the dynamic between you guys? So maybe in the past you guys did have communication. Now this communication has left. So it's left you in this period of silence. Um, you, you might have been in contact with this person before via phone or text. Maybe you even saw them in person. Um, and there was this playful energy when you guys did interact. And so there, there's definitely like an energy there. And you guys were just both trying to go with the flow and um, hash this out together. <coughs> Excuse me. But now it seems that the communication is left. So don't be surprised if there's a long period of silence between you guys. Um, if it seems like things are kind of going backwards. Um, if you're not feeling that playfulness, honestly, you might not be feeling anything from this person. And remember, the current energy we just uncovered might explain why. So much focus on work. Perhaps your partner has entered into a new job and they're learning the ropes. And so they're very, very focused on that right now. And so for them, they're not really feeling like reaching out and communicating. It could have something to do with the partner that they're with. But yeah, I'm seeing the communication, the playfulness, at least for now, has kind of left the relationship. So next we're going into the energy that's coming into the dynamic. So this kind of reveals the future. So it seems like the chemistry is still there. More and more you guys are both going to realize this magnetic pull that you guys have towards each other. And I really do want to read this chemistry card. It says, You've received this card because you feel a strong dynamic pull toward another person. In other words, you share chemistry with him or her or them. This creates intense pleasurable sensations that draw you to each other. If this person is someone other than your partner in a committed relationship, then the chemistry is probably a source of both stress and escape. And I feel like this is for them. You know, they're going to have to weigh their options and the consequences carefully before they can consider leaving their current partner or embarking upon an affair. So um, they're saying that passion sparks in romance can be revived through playfulness, thoughtfulness, time together and caring gestures. But of course, we're seeing this card, which is talking about this darkness, um, because I do feel like this chemistry is stressful for them and for you, because obviously this person's with someone else. But regardless, there is this inspiration the, the energy does seem to want to inspire both of you guys to change and to action. And so it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to go down here in the future. Um, I'm still feeling like there is a chance for those of you guys who picked number one, but you're going to have to let this play out. Um, so this is a good positive card to see for the energy coming in. It does seem like the connection is getting stronger, but at the same time, this is frustrating because it's kind of a problem, you know, when you factor in that there's someone else in this relationship. So this card reads, a challenge has arrived in your life. The situation may be very complex. It can even have profound implication, implications in your life and how you deal with the world. So it's manifested itself in this relationship and um, it's going to cause some kind of realignment. And um, they're telling you to see this challenge as an opportunity. And I feel like this is a message for them. Like they need to see this challenge as an opportunity and realize that if something has been hidden and rep repressed, it's time to take control. Perhaps their relationship has become unhealthy and it's decaying. And so they feel this pull towards something else because there is this new opportunity for them. They're saying this situation overall is going to inspire them to become stronger, to make decisions. And for both of you guys, it's going to be inspiring you guys to be strong because nothing's more difficult than 
being apart from the person you love and there being other people involved and it, it can be really difficult and strenuous. And so I see a little bit of that energy coming into the, the dynamic. Let's actually keep these turned over. All right, so the next one is what is going on between your love interest and their current partner? So their current relationship, the person that they're with right now, what's going on with them? So <clears throat> they have been going through this honeymoon period together, having fun, um, maybe even traveling, taking holidays. Um, and they definitely have set some goals and set some dreams together. But they did go through kind of like a hermit hermit mode. And so now they're getting ready to kind of come out of their cave. Maybe they are planning some kind of trip um, for the summer. Um, they definitely have goals and long-term plans and dreams together. I'm just going to be real with you. Um, what energy is leaving their dynamic? So there's some adversity because... Um, I feel like your love interest is having difficulties letting you go because it says release your ex. Um, and so maybe this was difficult for them in their relationship. Maybe um, your love interest partner knows about you, knows something funny was going on, knows that your love interest was having a hard time letting you go. And so this did lead to adversity. Um, and it's interesting because remember we saw the energy that's leaving is this communication. And so perhaps they found out that you guys were communicating. And um, so it's like your love interest partner found out that there was this playfulness going on. There was this communication. And it seems like it, it caused an issue for them. And, um, and so I feel like that they've stopped communicating with you because... Um, obviously it was a problem for them in their relationship and so i feel like that's kind of been locked down like i feel like currently your love love interest is very dedicated to their partner they have all these dreams these plans these goals to get out these goals to travel try new things with them and so currently they're working on trying to release you <laughs> but obviously the energy that's coming in is chemistry and so it, this is going to be hard for them to break you know it's like they just can't quit you you know so next what we're seeing is i might i might get a little mixed up because there's so many cards here so i just gotta count real quick make sure i'm on the right path okay the energy that's coming in for your love interest and their partner so strength and i think it's funny that they need strength because yeah they're gonna need some strength because of you <laughs> Because you're kind of a, a, a bump in the road for them in this relationship. And so they're trying to find the strength to just continue on in their relationship. To just do their thing. They've been guided into this partnership for a reason. You know, maybe this is a soulmate. It could be a karmic partnership. They have these lessons they're supposed to learn together. And so, um, but I think that your love interest is starting to realize that they deserve love. They deserve real love. And um, they feel a little bit more creative when they think about you and the possibilities they can have together. Um, but overall, I do see them entering into like a new flow in their relationship. This creativity card has a lot to do with them and what they're trying to create together, these dreams. So they're just trying to be strong enough right now to um, continue forward with their plans and their dreams and goals together, trying to develop this love between them. So next, um, let's see. So this is the current feelings about you. So how does your love interest feel about you right now, currently? Well, they're trying to stay optimistic about their love life. You know, they're obviously trying to move forward with this person that they've chosen to be with. Um, we're seeing the healing card reversed, which is making me think that instead of like trying to heal this relationship, trying to, you know, either end this or um, maybe even just, you know, leave this partner behind and go back to that. Or maybe even just stepping away to spend time on their own. Instead, they're just kind of pushing it down. And they're pretending like it's not there, just trying to stay optimistic, you know, doing the best that they can. It's like kind of a complicated situation, but they're very insecure. So they're feeling very insecure about this connection because they just don't know what to do with it. Um, they can't change their feelings. They they're with they do love their partner, 
And so it's difficult for them. And this is one of their greatest fears manifest, like having to choose between two people, um, you know, just feeling like really sucked down in this, um, like very emotional and like they're not comfortable with their emotions. I'm getting this feeling that like they're running from you because they're afraid of this intense, the intensity between you guys. And um, they do need to like forgive and um, and I do feel like they feel guilty because they have communicated with you in the past. And um, so right now the energy is like a little iffy, but at least they're trying to stay optimistic. They're doing well, but there is some healing that's going to have to happen in the future. There is some work to be left like to be done here. So next, um, this is what your love interest would tell you if they could. So if they could tell you something right now, what would they tell you? <laughs> this person really cares for you and if they could tell you anything they would tell you to be creative to have fun on your own not to sit around and wait for them um not to sit around and and just expect so much from this person i feel like your love interest is just really trying to do their best really trying to fill their, to follow their heart and for some reason there's some unfinished business they have with this person and I do feel to be honest with you that they're in love with the person that they're with They have these dreams these plans There's so much that they've they've um, been moving forward with with this person and they don't want to let go of that dream And so um, they do feel dedicated to you though. This is the committed partnership bird I think they try to tell you to like respect their space and respect their relationship, but they also do love you so if they could, they would tell you that they love you. They would tell you that they have strong feelings for you. But right now they're in a relationship and they want to see you being creative. They want to see you moving forward with your life and having fun and not putting out so much of that desperate energy. So, you know, they do have feelings for you. Um, how should you go about, uh, how should you go about, oh, la, la. <laughs> I'm reading you guys and I'm like so dyslexic. How should you go about attracting this person? So how should you go about attracting this person? And they're telling you, you need to create some changes in your life. Don't change for this person, change for yourself. But obviously they can even tell that you need to be more creative and you need to follow that side of yourself. Um, I am seeing this message that it's safe for you to love. So opening your heart to receive love is going to help. Um, taking off your mask, allowing yourself to be more vulnerable. Maybe you're being called to really put yourself out there. We've been talking so much on the channel lately about those of you guys who are artists, who are really trying to break out of the system and starting like a, a training or um, learning, um, you know, different things on YouTube, seeking out workshops, like-minded people, collaborating, getting your Instagram up, getting your website up, starting to sell your products or give away your heart-based service, just getting involved basically. And so I think that's, you know, by, by loving yourself, by moving forward on your plans and your dreams and goals, you ultimately end up attracting these people because you're not going to attract anyone sitting around being desperate. And so this is saying like you're bored, like you're waiting for this person, like you're letting this energy drain you and take you down. Even though there's so much inspiration, there's so much you can do every day. There's so many opportunities for you. So open your heart to love, open your heart to change, start taking off that mask, allowing yourself to be more vulnerable and creating change in your life. This isn't telling you to reach out to this person. I don't think you should reach out. I think you should wait. I think you should focus on improving your life and um, if this is meant to be, it'll come around. I do see the chemistry between you guys, but you've got to get going on something. So this is a great time to visualize, to make mood boards. Um, I'm doing a lot of personal readings for you guys today, but I am also going to be taking a break in the afternoon and spending time on my own mood board. I might film it for you guys, so stay tuned for updates on that later. But yeah, I'm going to make another mood board. I'm focusing on myself right now, um, trying to practice what I preach. And it really is time for us to create change in our life and just really start planning what our next step is, what our next move is. And um, something I tell everybody, you guys have heard this before, is might as well die trying. So um, this is definitely a message for you. Next, what we're seeing is what are your partner's feelings 
about a future with their current partner, okay? So what what is, how does your love interest really feel about having like a future with the person that they're with? Well, to be honest, they've got some doubts. They've still got their eye on you. They're with this person probably because of security. There is love there, but it's more secure. It's safe for them to be with this person. And overall, like they need to love themselves first and respect themselves enough to realize the truth that perhaps this relationship isn't their ultimate thing. I don't see this relationship lasting. It might last for a while. I'm gonna be honest with you. This could last another year, maybe another two years. I, this is, there's a strong bond between them. But overall, this person's open. They're not wanting to settle down with this person, ultimately, overall. So that's good news. Next, um, anything else you need to know about your love interest and the situation? They're telling you, hopefully, that this reading will motivate you. Hopefully, this person being with someone else is going to motivate you to focus on yourself. <laughs> You know, focus on yourself. There's so many cards coming out about you being creative, you getting off your ass and trying something. <laughs> um, and it's going to motivate you to build a strong foundation in your life. Focus on your foundation. Focus on building yourself. I know that's really hard when you don't have this area of your life figured out, but nothing good is going to come if you just sitting and waiting around and doing nothing. Ultimately, there will be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation between you guys and you will ultimately discuss your feelings with each other, but I don't see this coming for a while. So in the meantime, allow this to motivate you to build your foundation so that you're ready to hear what they have to say when they come back. Um, next is what's going on with your love interest mentally right now. So mentally, what's going on with them? They're trying to have faith in their in the relationship they're with, this new love. Um, they're trying to have faith. They're trying to have faith. They're very committed to this person they're with. Um, this card's just telling me to trust my gut. The, the message that I'm really getting here is that they've been guided to this person. You might think that this is a karmic per relationship, but to be honest, I do feel like they're soulmates and they're from the same soul family. Doesn't mean that you guys aren't soulmates or that you guys aren't twin flames, but you need to respect this because I feel like they've been together in many lives and this person is going to really open them up. And if you're meant to be with this person, pray for their relationship and pray that things go well. Pray that they learn all the lessons they need to learn so that if and when this person comes back to you, they're going to be even more ready to handle you and, and everything that comes along with that. It, it really seems like you have some work to do on your creativity. The situation makes a lot of sense to me. So what's going on with um, your love interest emotionally right now? They're trying to have patience. There's an aspect of them that does know that ultimately, see, look, this is the reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So emotionally, you're definitely on their heart. They're just trying to have patience. They're just like trying to have fun with their friends and celebrate their life. Just trying to do the best they can where they're at. But emotionally, I can confirm like you're on their heart. And they're just trying to be patient to see how the situation will unfold. They're just trying to focus on what's in front of them right now. So spiritually, what's going on with your love interest? So they're very focused on their finances and career, just like we saw in the current energy. Um, financial issues are kind of a factor. It might be one of the reasons that they're tied to this person that they're with. Spiritually, they're being pulled in two different directions. They've got you, the soulmate over here. They're currently with this other soulmate. They're frustrated spiritually because it's like their, their soul contract with the person that they're with isn't up yet but they still have these feelings for you. And so they're really just trying to simplify their lives. They're, they're getting a message to really honor their, themselves and their truth, which right now is like that they need to continue the path that they're on. So the overall message for you in this situation is to allow the situation to make you more aware. You're being pulled away from this person right now. There's red flags involved. I think this is telling you like to be careful. Um, respect the relationship that this person is in. 
and have red flags because I, they're, one of the reasons I'm doing this reading for you guys is because I feel like a lot of people are wanting to reach out right now. A lot of people are, are trifling and I feel like right now is not a time for that. So red flags, if you're feeling desperate and you're feeling like you want to try to get at this person, you need to remember to be aware of what you've seen here and know that like you need to allow the situation to unfold naturally. And you have your own little tangle of shit going on in your life right now. You got to slither out of this and become a leader in your life. So this is hopefully going to encourage you and inspire you to be creative, just like um, your love interest would say to you if they could, to be creative right now. I do feel the love coming from this person, but maybe you're being separated from this person so that you can focus on your creativity and getting your foundation in your life stronger so that you're more ready to embrace this person and you're not so dependent on them when they come around. So I hope that this message resonates with you. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace out. So um, I'm gonna clear all these cards away, make room. This is gonna be a long one, you guys. Woo. All right. So for those of you guys who chose spread to the pearl, let's get started gonna be doing a lot of reaching <laughs> so for those of you guys who chose the pearl let's get started we're gonna look first at the current energy between you and this person so what is the current energy between you and your love interest so something you guys both share in common is abundance is coming to you money probably maybe you guys are both doing pretty well financially right now things are looking up um, new sources of income, new jobs, new opportunities. If this hasn't already happened, just wait a couple weeks because Jupiter is going direct. You guys know I've been talking about this so much. July 10th, and we're going to be getting a lot of opportunities, windfalls of cash, awesome stuff coming through then. Abundance doesn't always talk about money. It can be an abundance of love, an abundance of friendship, an abundance of energy, an abundance of time. So just realize what abundance you have in your life right now and work with that because um, and it's a, and bless it and thank be thankful for it. Um, I see that your love interest is also receiving abundance right now. Um, something you guys both share in common is this playful energy. It seems like you guys are wanting to be a little bit more playful, wanting to have more fun. Um, maybe there's like a, a you know because of this windfall of cash or whatever the abundance. Um, it's a really great time to plan outings and trips and things for your inner child to do, um, things that make you happy. And it seems like both of you guys are manifesting this union because it says your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations help bring you together. So both of you guys right now are in the process of manifesting the union. So very interesting. We're going to see how this is going to unfold. Now what energy is leaving this dynamic? So I do see the fun and the laughter that you guys had together. I do see that you guys really got to know each other. You revealed your innermost secrets to each other. You guys were really bonding. Um, perhaps you guys even worked together. Maybe this is a coworker. Um, or maybe you, you guys shared a mutual love of art. Um, and you guys are both artists, or both talented, both creative. Um, and it's very interesting to see that abundance is leaving. <laughs> so maybe the abundance you guys are receiving right now is like a windfall to kind of boost you guys, but then you got to use it wisely, you know, use it towards your skills, use it to develop yourself, purchase supplies for um, your artwork or whatever it is that you're working on right now. Um, I'm definitely feeling this message about that abundance might leave for a little bit, so to use it wisely. But this is kind of sad because this is the energy that's leaving. You know, there was this fun, there was this laughter, you guys were getting to know each other, you guys had a blast, you guys had so much in common, but obviously this person is with someone else. And so it makes sense that this energy is leaving. So what energy is coming in for you guys? Ugh, gotta reach. Ooh, I have a feeling this, this one's progressing really fast. This is going to happen. Like this is going down. So I'm seeing miracles. I'm seeing romantic feelings are definitely coming into this dynamic. It's going to get stronger. 
These feelings you guys have about each other are real and worth exploring, and I feel like both of you guys are going to realize that. Then we're seeing the reunion card. This is a huge one for me, all right? Um, you guys are definitely going to reunite. Um, and, and leaving difficult times behind. Maybe it was these difficult times that tore you guys apart. Um, and I feel like both of you guys are like empowering yourselves right now to really speak your truth, to really act in the truth and, you know, miracles, romantic feelings, union, this ability to overcome deep emotions and rise above it and be a little bit more lighthearted and be a little bit more sensible and logical is coming in. So it makes me feel like decisions are going to be made. Shit's going down in the best way. But there's mystery involving this situation. This is the myth, the, the, the links, the cat of mystery. You know, maybe you're not really supposed to know when this is going to happen. Maybe it could be a couple months, six months. Maybe it could be a year. But something's going down. I have a feeling it's soon. Um, you guys are got you guys got to keep in touch and let me know. So, once again, general reading might not apply to everybody, but these are some strong cards. I was not expecting this. And when I drew all the cards for all these spreads, all of a sudden, like a ton of cards. I tried to draw just one card for each, you know, little number here. And a whole chunk came out and I tried to take it back and I got this message to leave it. And so, I mean, all of these cards here, you know, you guys are definitely leaving this difficult time behind, empowering yourselves. Um, there's a lot of mystery revolving around this situation about how this is going to transpire. You know, there's infinite ways this can work out, but the romance is growing. There's miracles. You know, I feel like this is ordained, like this is going to happen. So <clears throat> next, this is what's going on with your um, love interest and their current partner. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. Um, this is the jaded card. They're, they're both... One or both of them is just not feeling it anymore. And starting to feel this injustice, starting to feel like, like the energy exchange is not equal. Like one person is really mooching off the other person, either financially or emotionally. And there's something here that's unbalanced. Um, I'm getting this message that it's a facade. Like the relationship has really passed its time. And so there's this, there's this desire for your love interest to free themselves. This is the breakup card and to take back control of their lives because maybe this has gotten toxic or maybe this has just gotten like, maybe there's just nothing left here. Maybe there's just an incompatibility. So this is going to end. This is going to end. I can just see it. Um, the energy that's leaving their dynamic, this is the energy that's leaving your... Um, love interest and their partner, the dynamic between them. Uh, so we are getting the separation card. Maybe they've already decided to separate and they're just working on that right now. Um, and this is the yes card. So I just feel like this is confirming the breakup. It's part of their purpose. Um, but they're going to be safe. They're going to be protected. So it's like they're maybe they've been stalling on this because they're both worried. Like, am I going to be able to make it without this other person emotionally financially mentally everything so um but i see this is in the works this is they're breaking up so this is the energy that's coming in for your love interest and their um, partner there's this reassuring energy I feel like they've planted the seed already that they want to break up, but for some reason there's there's something that needs to happen first. Um, they're trying to they're still trying to manifest things together, but I feel a lot of roadblocks. I feel like your love interest partner is very controlling, and um, they're still trying to control the situation and still trying to keep your love interest with them even though your love interest is really trying to pull apart from this. So um, there is this reassurance though coming in for both of them to kind of help them through this breakup and to kind of push them in the direction they're supposed to go. So next what we're seeing is their current feelings about you. So what is your love interest's current feelings about you? They're really thankful. They're thankful for you and for the role that you've played in their life. 
you know, there was this beautiful energy. I mean, remember the laughter, the getting to know each other, that special bond you guys shared? I feel like they're, they're grateful for it. Like it helped them through a really rough t time in their life is what I'm feeling. And right now they're just really thinking like, what am I gonna do? They're sad, they're mourning because there's so much change happening in their life. They might not really be thinking about like, this relationship romantically right now because the energy between them and their partner is so heavy and they're trying to keep an open mind you know they're they're thinking you know maybe you could be my soulmate maybe it's someone else I feel like they really desire some time alone but they are grateful and so currently there's a lot of energy going on because of their breakup and because of all the change coming they're really needing some time to think about this connection it's just to think about everything review their whole life because it's like all of a sudden, all of their illusions and all their dreams and everything they built in this relationship has been shattered. And so, um, they, but they are thankful to you. They, they do really hold you in this special place in, in um, their heart. So um, this is what your love interest would tell you if they could. So if they could talk to you right now, what would your love interest say? I think they tell you that like they're really trying to make themselves happy right now. They're really trying to find a way to get to like a comfortable place in their life. But obviously they probably tell you about the breakup. They probably tell you that shit's going down and, and a lot of things in their life are ending. The chapter's closing. They're afraid. They're scared. They're, they feel like everything's so uncertain. Um, and they're trying to heal these issues they're having with their partner, which is basically a manifestation of some of their childhood wounds. We often, all of us, manifest some of our childhood wounds into our relationships. And so this is part of them cleaning that out and working through that. And, um, and I do feel like they'll be fulfilled, but right now they're, they're kind of in a dark place. But, um, the message here is not to reach out to this person um, you might be really happy that they're breaking up, but this person needs time on their own and they need to figure this out on their own. They're thankful to you, but I keep getting this message that they really need space right now. So um, it might be hard for you to see that they're going through this, but just know the universe has got them. This is saying the universe has got this covered. It's kind of none of your business. Um, there's some information I'm getting here that I'm not going to reveal. Um, it's just... Things have been rough for them in their relationship, basically. And so I've gotten visions and flashes of, of what's going on. Um, but I feel right now this is coming out to tell you to like respect them. I feel like they would want your respect and um, like distance for them to be able to go through this naturally. Um, and this is um, how you should go about attracting this person. So let me make sure I'm on track. Yeah, how should you go about attracting your love interest? There's going to be a huge transformation happening with you. I think everyone's going through a transformation right now. And so they're just saying, follow your destiny. The best way to attract this person, it's, it's probably going to be the same answer for everybody across the board. This is very similar to the answer I got in spread number one, which is to... Um, allow this transformation and follow your destiny and really pay attention to your inner child. Remember inside each one of us, there's an inner child that longs for laughter and sunshine and play. And the energy you guys shared, it was like your inner children really got to come out and play with each other. And you guys have this really beautiful, innocent connection. And so they're telling you to get connected with yourself again, to get connected with your inner child, to allow yourself to go out into nature, to allow yourself to be creative, to allow yourself to play, try new things, meet new people, make new friends, and to just allow your transformation. This is your destiny. So basically follow your path and um, don't factor this person into your plans and into your dreams. If this person comes back along, then um, they're just going to be the cherry on top to your already amazing life, you know? So what are your love interest feelings about like being with this partner that they're with long term like what are their feelings about like having a future with their current partner yeah this is unrequited love we've already seen enough in the cards to know that this is ending there truly isn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going so yes they are breaking up and right now it's like your partner or your um, love interest is just trying to listen to themselves and, and and remember this card we got let's see if I can find it 
they're, they're just taking time to really think, to be in solitude, to listen, to figure out what the next step is. So once again, confirmation, I don't see a future here. Um, so anything else that you need to know about your love interest and the situation? They are attracted to you. There is a possibility of a relationship here, but I see many moon cycles need to transpire before this is ready. And um, you need to be very patient right now as you wait for this situation to unfold. And so um, you need to focus on your own balance um, and believe in the extraordinary because there might be a really crazy way that this could all come together. But I can't, it's like, you just want to know, is this person into me? And the answer is yes, they're attracted to you. But remember, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So time to focus on your inner child and on um, what's calling you forward right now and um, try to let go control over this situation. So what's going on with your love interest mentally right now? Mentally, they are starting to dream a new dream for their life as the dreams in this relationship become shattered. Obviously, they're forgiving and learning right now because they're in the middle of this breakup. And so it's like they're trying to release and they're trying to heal um, so that they can get to a place where they can really be in the present and start dreaming a new dream for their life. I see career opportunities coming to this person. So they're probably really focused on trying to figure out um, like a new career, a new living situation. And this is, you know, a, a dark night of the soul for them. This is part of their spiritual awakening. They're spending time in solitude and they're really thinking a lot, just planning and trying to figure out this transition and how they're going to be able to pull all this off, you know? Um... Next, this is your love interest emotionally right now. So emotionally, um, they've been getting signs about this with you moving forward very soon. And the very soon cards talking within the ne next three to six months, they can envision um, happiness. Like they're really focusing on their happiness and trying to get to a space to what makes them happy. And obviously it's not with this person that they're with. So um, emotionally, they're definitely thinking about you. Um, this could move forward soon. I just don't want to get your hopes up, you know, because I do feel like there's an aspect of them that wants to be alone and needs to think this through. And knowing that this might happen soon is going to cause you to probably want to reach out or, and um, cause you to want to do something. Um, but you got to just chill and allow this person to come to you. Um, They've been getting signs. They've been getting messages about this. Um, they are trying to, they're currently trying to decide what they want. And um, they're starting to get more in touch with what makes them happy. So this is what's going on with your love interest spiritually right now. Once again, they're trying to set goals. They're really tired, really fatigued. They're, you know, they're in the cocoon right now. And that's, you know, in the cave they will break out and become the butterfly again, but right now all they can do is just hang on and trust. So they're learning a, a big lesson right now about having faith because for them, the future is very uncertain. The overall message about you in this situation is that change is coming. There is passion here. And um, I feel like this is talking about like an imminent future. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good vibes about this one. I have to say, like, I feel like this is going to go down. Um, you guys are going to have to let me know what happens here. <laughs> so I'm going to clear all these cards away. Woo. We're going to clean this up after. It's going to be a big mess. And now we're going to go ahead and read for those of you guys who chose number three, the obsidian earring. So the first card is the current energy between you and your love interest. What is something that you guys both share in common right now? So maybe one or both of you got married. <laughs> and so I do see forgiveness. It's like either you forgive them or they forgive you for like entering into this marriage, even though there's like feelings here. Um, and I do see that both of you guys are really coming to balance. It seems both of you guys are going through this big shift, a spiritual awakening, of course, and um, things are looking up. You know, there's forgiveness coming out. Um, the situation probably involves marriage. Maybe the person that you're asking about is married to someone. 
And so um, it's like you're forgiving them or they're forgiving you or there's like this mutual forgiveness. Um, and, but there's also balance coming into the situation. So very interesting. What energy is leaving the dynamic between you and your love interest? Entanglements in codependency. So the reason I mentioned spiritual awakening is because that first card was really talking about just the new level of awareness. Um, some people call it a midlife crisis or quarter life crisis. I like to call it spiritual awakening. It's when you just become aware that there's certain habits, people, places, things, situations in your life that are no longer serving you. And it's like you're getting ready to shed and like step into a new chapter in your life. And so this is a rebirth. This is the energy that's leaving. Um, I feel like there have been some things that have gone down in their relationship. Um, I feel that the relationship that they're in is very codependent and there's like these entanglements. Maybe you're with someone and they're with someone and there's like this, these entanglements. There's like this big web. It's like a love triangle or a love square or whatever. Maybe there's multiple people involved. But I feel like this energy is leaving. So it's very interesting. Um, next, what we're seeing is this is the energy that's coming in to the dy dynamic with you and your love interest. Wow. So there is going to be some synchronicity here. This is a true love. This is talking about the coming together of two polar opposites, passion and nurturing. This is like a twin flame card, you know? Um, but I do feel like your love interest is very hesitant. There's a lot of mystery surrounding them in the situation. They're standing their ground. They're not quite ready to move forward or to make any changes. But I do feel like there's going to be synchronicity coming in to kind of urge this situation forward. I do see true love. <clears throat> this person loves you. You love them. It's just a matter of is this relationship really meant to be, you know? A lot of trust is going to be involved. So this is what is going down between your love interest and their current partner. So they really feel like this could be the one. You know, marriage is either on the table or they're already married. Um, and they're just trying to have their integrity right now. And so, and they're, they're wanting to take a new path though. Part of them feels really disconnected from like a group of friends from being able to like so like this person they're with is very codependent with them has been keeping them isolated and away from other people so they're really wanting this group of friends they're really wanting to get out there they're wanting to see the world travel or just move to a new location but they're trying to have their integrity because they do feel like the person they're with is the one so i do feel like they're being it's like back and forth energy there's an aspect of them that wants to stay with their partner and it does feel like this is the one for them. But there's, then there's an aspect of them that like really desires this freedom. That's pretty normal though in marriage, to be honest. <laughs> um, so the energy that is leaving your love interest and their current partner. So they have been spending this time disconnecting from the world. But I feel like that energy is leaving because obviously you're your love interest has this desire to get out around more people. Um, and I feel like they've been doing a lot of uh, meditation or just a lot of healing work together, like clearing some baggage they both had. Um, but it's interesting because the energy that's leaving is fulfillment. So they've been fulfilled in this relationship thus far, but that might start kind of ending. So it's interesting to see the fulfillment card as something that's leaving. So they've been fulfilled in this relationship, but it's like now your, your love interest is starting to look elsewhere for like their needs, you know? Here's the energy that's coming in for your love interest and their current partner. So this is making me think about cheating. Like someone could betray the other one. Like, they're flirting with other people. Maybe your love interest is flirting with you. Um, they're having issues with their intimacy. Maybe they haven't been connecting, like, intimately. Um, this is talking about betrayal and jealousy. Um, and I feel like maybe, like, I feel like you're, um, this partner of your love interest is very codependent and wants to keep this person, you know, your love interest all to themselves. And they... 
don't even really let them out or encourage them or go with them to like hang around other people because the truth is they're very jealous. They're very jealous. And um, to be honest, your love interest is kind of a flirt. <laughs> they're just charming and they like to flirt with everybody and like, they, it might be completely innocent, but their partner can't handle that. And so it, there's like this, there's a lot of shit going down with them. Their intimacy, flirting with other people, maybe a little bit, maybe even betrayal coming in. So, um, what are your love interest's current feelings about you? Okay, how is your love interest feeling about you? Well, this is the fire card. So maybe you're dealing with a fire sign or you're a fire sign. Um, there's definitely a lot of passion here. Um, but there's this pending engagement. Um, so it could be talking about this person wants to enter into a relationship with you. This person really desires to get out of the relationship. Or it could mean that like they're confused because they're, they might be getting engaged to the person that they're with. Um, but they want to free themselves. It just seems complicated, but I do see the happiness card. You make them happy. Like they have this passion and this happiness for when they think about you. There's this light, the energy with you is just lighter, but then there's all these complications because of obviously the person that they're with. So next we're going to ask, what would your love interest tell you right now? If they could tell you anything, what would they tell you right now? This is sweet. They definitely wish they could nurture you. They definitely like want to just give you that love. And um, they're thinking about making the effort to change something in their home. Um, so this is, you know, we're talking about marriage here. We're talking about engagement. This could be talking about them wanting to find a way out of this so they can come with you. Um, I want to draw a clarifier. What would they tell you right now if they could? Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is they're just trying to protect themselves and their fortune. They, they don't want their home situation to be disturbed. Um, but on another aspect, they're trying to figure out how can I work this out? So it's very back and forth energy right here. Very back and forth. So how should you go about, about attracting your love interests? I feel like this obedience card is coming out because they're really trying to emphasize that you need to do some clearance work. So this means going down in meditation, cutting cords with people, clearing your chakras, trying to let go of all the anger and all the like the feelings of like rejection and abandonment that you're feeling because of this person like obviously they're with this person for a reason and they needed to go through this and I feel like what you really need to do is surrender and to let go because um, I feel your energy towards this person and I feel like it, it could be kind of scaring them away because it's so intense and um, they definitely feel it for you too because this is a past life relationship you guys have known each other before and the whole thing with past life relationships is you guys are definitely in, in each other's lives for a reason. They're saying, um, you know, you have some unfinished business with this person. It might involve forgiving them, a joint project, maybe coming together romantically, or just learning personal lessons like patience. So whether or not this person becomes your life partner, you will definitely like learn personal lessons and experience spiritual growth. And um, they could be saying past life regressions could help you understand your connection with this person. Um, I, do, I do past life uh, readings if you guys are interested in that. But um, you can always just do a free meditation online to figure out what's going down and why you feel this aching and this longing for this person. The, the feelings are real, but I feel like you need to tone it down a little bit. Take it back to yourself. Because if you keep coming at this person with that desperate energy and like, Push, that'll push them away. You've got to be open to receive and stand in your own power. And it's time for you to cut those cords and do that spiritual work in order to just be in this place of understanding and true love to where you can let go of the outcome and let go of the control and allow the universe to work in this situation. So what are your um, love interest feelings about having like a future with their partner 
What are their true feelings about having a future? <laughs> they want to be free. Earlier we saw this wolf card. It pretty much means the same thing. I'm trying to find it. Here it is. They want to be free. They, they don't like marriage. They don't like engagement. This is someone who really needs to be in a relationship that's like very free or needs to not be in a relationship. <laughs> so they're, it's like they are waiting for an opportunity for them to be able to move away from the connection. They might not be aware of it. This could be something very subconscious because I do see that they're like committed to this person that they're with. But all the flirting, the jealousy, the... You know, the cards I saw about them really wanting to get out, the codependency, the entanglements. It's just kind of a recipe for disaster here. And so this person overall wants freedom. They're not, I don't feel like they're the marrying kind. I don't feel like ultimately they're, they're I don't see this person being married. I, my, maybe they'll have a long-term relationship. They might eventually be with you or be with someone that they can um, be with. You know, they, they want that relationship, but it's like they don't want to be locked down like that. So... Anything else you need to know about your love interest in this situation? They're saying the angels are here watching over the situation. They, they know how much you, you ache for this person. Um, but they really want you to give the relationship with yourself a chance. Obviously, you're giving this relationship a chance. You think about this person all the time. But they're saying, give the relationship with yourself a chance. The more that you focus on yourself... It's really cliche, but every time I get a love reading, it always comes back to this. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. It's cliche. It's so cliche, but it's so true because the energy of pushing, of trying to control, of trying to manipulate is repelling. And this is about being open to receive. So if this person truly is your tw twin flame, your soulmate, the better that you get at focusing on yourself, having fun, enjoying your life, just being present with yourself. Doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. It's just about really nurturing yourself, giving to yourself and completing yourself, reparenting yourself. So you're not looking for that love outside of yourself. You deserve to be loved and be nurtured by someone, but that doesn't need to be your end all be all to everything. That it's not going to solve your life. It's not going to make everything better. It's like you think this person's going to come along, make everything better, but you're still going to have your same problems. You're still going to have these goals and these passions you need to work towards. So might as well just work on yourself, work on your problems, work on your goals, work on your passions so that if and when this person comes in, it will be even better of a connection and even stronger. So um, ultimately, I do see divine intervention coming into the situation. Their relationship isn't going to last. They're, and this is like the breakup card. So they will break up. So what is going on with your love interest emotionally or wait, mentally right now? So what's going on with them mentally right now? They are having a spiritual awakening. I feel like they're starting to research like different things, maybe about the earth, maybe about astrology, maybe about tarot, maybe they're meditating. Maybe they're just kind of opening themselves to stuff like that. Um, I don't see this person as like a super spiritual person, but I just feel like in their own way, they're starting to educate themselves on things that interest them, getting more creative, and especially as they go through this change. And so um, that's what's going on with them mentally. They're, they're in a good space. They're being open to receive. They're, they're open-minded because they're starting to let go of this idea that maybe they'll be with this person they're with forever. And they're starting to think more about their own plans and their own dreams and their own goals, despite the other person, you know? So emotionally right now, here is what your love interest is going through. Well, I feel like they're not very in touch with their emotional side. <laughs> um, but they are very dedicated to just trying to make themselves feel better. Um, Prince of Wands. What's going on with them? Oh, whoa, the book opened straight to this. Um, they're just emotionally trying to figure out where they need to go because they're feeling this drive to go somewhere else. Um, and they're trying to be ambitious. And they're, they're about to take some kind of calculated risk. So that's what they're focusing on emotionally right now. Spiritually right now, once again, they're very focused on spirituality. It might not be that they're like, you know, chanting and, and doing like, you know, 
like <laughs> Reiki healing and tarot and crystals and stuff, but they might be like trying to figure out like listening to their inner selves, listening to their higher self. I just feel like listening. They're listening to themselves now instead of just going along with what everyone around them is doing. They're really starting to listen to themselves and that is getting in touch with them spir themselves spiritually. So Nine of Pentacles, I also feel like um, they're learning how to be self-reliant and independent and free. So this is what they're focusing on spiritually. Um, they're being given, blessed with good health and um, they're, they're spending more time in nature. And so that's probably why they're getting more in touch spiritually. So I see things going well in that department. Overall, they're telling you to have peace. The overall message for you is to have peace. There's definitely some kind of soulmate, twin flame connection here between you and this person. The Prince of Hearts is saying, you know, they could come back. They could come back with an offer. Um, let's see. Prince of Hearts is saying overall message is they're saying you need to be charming and attractive to, to others. And express your view of life in your own unique way. You need to be in love with love itself. You need to explore yourself. And so this is once again, working on your self love. As cliche as it sounds, you gotta love yourself before this person can really come in and offer you that love and mirror that back to you. But yeah, they're telling you to have peace. There is a twin flame, there's a soulmate out there for you, whether it's this person or not, it's gonna be revealed. Um, but it does seem like this person's being led away from their relationship. There could be an opportunity for you guys. Um, this is a past life relationship. You might be called to let go of this person though. So you need to start working towards that. Let go of the person and then if they happen to come back, awesome. You know, it's that whole like, if you let go of some, I don't know the quote, but it's just like, if you um, let go of someone and then they like, they come back to you, then it's meant to be. So just be open to letting go. Why not just let go now and try to get rid of that pain and that suffering, that longing. And then if the person comes back, it's going to be a pleasant surprise. And, and pray for this person that they'll be fulfilled and that they'll find their happiness, regardless if it's with you or not. I hope that these messages resonated with you guys. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace out.